What's going on everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Subnautica Below Zero. Now, I knew that there was something I missed over here at the Glacial Basin, so I'm coming over, I see it right away, and that is this little corridor over here. Now, this is right where I was. I was right down over there when I got the little PDA message last episode telling me that there's someone nearby and it looks like we've got a little hidden bunker here and this should be the cause of that distress so let's go ahead and check it out snow stalker fur i'll take it deep dive featuring zach let's see is there any scannables in here it does not look like it, but there is the to-be-expected PDA, the colleague's PDA. All right, and this is Jeff. I found a PDA. It's Jeff's. He's been here recently. Can you upload it? Are you getting it? He was looking for the architect. Any idea where he might have gone? None. We can focus our scans to the west. I'll let you know if we find anything. Roger that. All right, we'll lock Jeff's place up tight, and that was what I was missing. I knew I was missing something, and it was something I would have had to come back for. So I'm glad I actually didn't run off. This is I'm recording this back to back uh, from the previous episode, and now we can just head right on back around. And I was still lucky enough to not run into any big scurry worms this entire time. Now I'm not out of here yet. But now we need to go over and launch our sample in the rocket as, you know, that was the whole point of this venture here. Uh, Jeff was studying the architects. I've got an architect inside my brain. We're going to need to get that thing out of there. But before we get to that point, let's go turn that sample in over at the rocket. All right, and here we are at Rocketville, and let's go ahead and launch off that rocket with this sample. Now, you see we've got another maintenance request up there, and it's telling me that the communications tower needs to be repaired again. Apparently, this is a known bug. Uh, there's quite a few different posts about it, and... I guess you just ignore it. You don't have to go out and search for another wreck salvage again. You can just ignore the fact that it's telling you to repair the rocket, or pardon me, to repair the tower, and uh, just go ahead and continue on through the story here. So let's get on up here. It's directly above. It is really hazy in here today. Very, very hazy. Make sure I'm not going to get jumped by crazy lady again. We're homies now. She should be all right. With me helping her out. So let's head on up here and get this thing launched. Yeah, see, it's showing the tower needs to be repaired again, yet... If I go to repair it, it says I need another shipwreck salvage, another advanced wiring kit. And like I said, apparently that is a known bug and that you can just completely ignore it now because the rocket is functional. And what we need to do is send off what this car sample. Let's go ahead and launch this bad boy. And that should continue our journey onward. Go, go, rocket! a shame it's not a clearer day Vespa the samples en route Roger payload confirmed all right so we're looking good that's been sent off I'm assuming I'm gonna have to wait to hear back again now in the meantime 
Let me get warmed up a little here real quick. Kind of funny how the little haziness from outside makes it indoors. Very, very strange. Alright, we should be good here. Let's just go ahead and head on back over. And let's start thinking about a moon pool. Now, before I throw the moon pool on, that is going to be a big hit to the like the structural integrity of the base. So I'm going to have to upgrade it a little bit. Now, I've got all that lithium. And lithium... Well, let me see. I think lithium is what you would use for upgrades, but let's check real quick. Let's see. Here we go. Reinforcement. Yeah, lithium and titanium. So I've got tons of lithium. We'll be able to get upgrades on no problem, and we can get that moon pulled down. And that's going to be nice because it's going to allow us to charge up charge up our uh, our little sea truck automatically just from the power of the base so it needs what I need uh, I need one or two reinforcement pieces and probably just be able to throw the moon pool right on in there being a chicken and not jumping off these cliffs I don't want to uh, break an ankle here Warm up in the hot springs. There we go. Very nice. And here we go. So let's head back over to base and think about that moon pool, as that's just a big, big next step, that is for sure. So let's head back on over and get this worked on here. Robin, we found Jeff off. He's alive. Where? The next sector. I'm connecting him. Rebinka. Jeff, what happened? I went for the escape ship, but I changed my mind. You contradicted a direct order. I thought the architect we woke may have been transferred to another facility. It was too precious to give up. Robin surely agrees, or she wouldn't also be down here. What happened to your GPS? It must have torn as I tried to escape. As soon as we have a ship available, we're bringing you both in. You're going to sit tight until then. Understood? Roger that. I will do as you ask. Good. I have to brief the director on this. I'll be in touch. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, that sounds good. I think uh, escape would be a very good thing. Uh, Y'all can feel free to hook me up and get me off of this island whenever you want. I'm good with it. It's all good. So, all right, before we get moving here, let's get, uh, let's just eat, let's just eat those. They actually restore a really good amount of food and water. Holy crap. That's absurd. I wonder if you can grow those. That seems like a really, really good source of both food and water. Look at that. That is just amazing. All right, well, let's see. We need lithium, right? Let's grab some lithium. And let's pop a few reinforcements down here before we start thinking about that moon base or moon pool. I can never call that thing by its proper name. So let's see. I'm not really sure. Before, you used to always put the, the reinforcements on the, like, on the corner pieces. You know, not at a 90 degree angle, but like at a 45 degree angle if this was a square box. Why is it not letting me place it? There we go. Alright, that was plus 7. I kind of don't want to put one here. But I'm tempted to put one here just to see if there's any difference in structural integrity value here. Good lord. Let's see, that one was plus 7. This one's plus 7 as well. So it doesn't look like there's any difference in uh, in where you place it in, in below 0. Where in the regular Subnautica, of course, like if I placed one right here at this angle, it would give me more value than it would if I placed it somewhere else. So we got this bad boy nice and upgraded. 
Now let's see on that moon pole here. Let's see, base pieces, here we go. Alright, I think like... Oh man, it's partially above ground even. I made this thing way too close to the surface, I'm such a puss. Alright, so we need titanium ingots, lubricant, and lead. Two titanium ingots, uh, one lubricant, and two lead. So I think all we're missing is lead. And yeah, we'll have no problem getting in and out of there for sure. So let's see, let's grab our lead real quick. I've got the looper, lubricants. I think that was it, right? Let's, let's see, let's check it out here. No. Oh, it says I need titanium ingots. Not just the raw titanium. Okay, so each ingot is five titanium. And I need two of those, so I need six more titanium here. Let's just grab a bunch here. There we go, that fills us up. Let's get our two titanium ingots. This is going to be awesome. Now, I'm not really sure where you get the upgrade station and whatnot. But I'm looking looking forward to adding a few more upgrades here. Let's see if that was enough to get the job done. Oh, it looks like it was. All right, we got us a moon pool. Awesome. And there's more than enough room to get the sea truck in there. So... We got some parking spot now. Now I'm still not sure what I want to do with the rest of the base. I'm way so close to the surface. This is like the wimpiest base ever. I'm dropping it. See, she's going through different... That little message I just got about dropping a depth module. I already have a depth module. That's like a duplicate message. Uh, same thing with like the... with repairing the tower. Now, I mean, I'm tempted to go over here and look and see what it is. But I think that that is just a buggy, a buggy thing uh, in the game, and it's just repeating quest steps over again now. Because that came... Really, that came right after I originally sent... What, after I originally repaired? I'm pretty sure that's when that arrived, but let's head on over here and see what's in the box. This time it was way, way over here. I'm curious. I mean, this is over where that super bad is, and the last time that drop did not go over here where that guy was. So I'm I'm still I'm very curious to see if it's gonna be another Mark one. Yeah, see there's the ship right there. So this is completely a completely different area that it's ever asked me to come to yet. I'll have to check out these little floating islands. And we'll have to avoid uh Mr. Beaky too. Oh, there's whales. I haven't gotten up close to any of the whales yet. crazy looking huh oh yeah this is an entirely different biome I have not been over here yet all right what do we have here is that a shark to puss oh my gosh it's it's a sh it's coming right towards me crap oh my god there's another one it's a shark to puss oh here comes here goes the thing going down right now it's gonna go way down here I'll just come down here and wait for it. it <laughs> hopefully. There's another shark to puss. Oh my god, they are everywhere. There's whales all over too, though. So, I mean, that's a good thing. But I'm going to try to avoid all these shark to pusses. Look at them all. Those guys will eat you. Let me make sure this one down here isn't creeping up behind me. I'm not even sure what this biome is called, to be honest with you. But this is the uh, definitely the first time over here. 
Oh, it's another rack. That's another rack, isn't it? Yeah, that is another rack. It is indeed. This thing is taking its time. Sink already, would you? Don't have that much further to go. Just come down here and wait for it and see. I mean, can I get it while it's sinking? I don't even know. The mighty Sharktopus at home amongst the whales. Huh, I could have just snagged it this whole time. All right, what do we have? Oh, it is another one. There's the Mark II. All right, so that is just, that was natural. That was not a replay. Um, I thought that was a replay of progression there. I thought my sea truck disappeared again for a second. It was like, what the heck? This is a cool little biome, though, and this is pretty clearly an entirely different wreck. So I'm wondering what is laying around here. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get... It looks like there's stuff living inside of this one. Let's see if we see any, uh... I mean, is that... That's not small enough for me to actually swim into, is it? Let me see. Oh, it is. What have we here? It's not scannable, whatever it is. I think it might just be a... Featherfish? I've already scanned Featherfish, I think. Man, there is a crap load of them. Holy crap, Ola. All right, and then there's a door that needs to be cut into, but let me just do a quick little look here. Pick up none. What was that? Hmm, that is a placeholder. So this wreck does not yet have a purpose, I am assuming. Sealed supply crate, what? What is this craziness? Repair tool, where's my cutter at? Am I going to be able to get into it in the time allowed here? Pick up reactor rod. Alright, well, got me a reactor rod. I might need to get me some oxygen here real quick. Let's do that and I will poke around in here a little bit more. We'll cut that other door and stuff off and see what's in there, but... Right at the moment, let's get a taste of a little bit more oxygen here. Robin, that sample you sent up. The rocket dock's okay, but the sample hasn't arrived at the labs. Did you lose sight of it at any time? Not until I launched it into space. It probably got sent to the wrong lab. We'll find it. Y'all can't be losing samples. What's up with that? Okay, there's a up. Let's see what's through this door here, though. Or actually, let's just check down the corridor first. It's such a long straight shot. This one is wide, wide open. <laughs> Holy crap. There's another one of those nun, uh, the placeholder items. I just don't know what they're supposed to be for. Is there anything in here? There's a PDA. Let's see. Nothing. Placeholder. So no info. I'll have to, I'll probably end up having to come back over to this wreck. Uh, once they get another update in place. Alright, let's go ahead and cut on that door then and see, see what's in there. There should be something behind a door that you have to cut through, right? Watch, this is just going to be a little compartment going to the outside. That would be just crazy. Oh my god, is it? Or no? 
Oh, wow. This is a big, huge area. All right, I'm going to need oxygen before I can uh, explore here. That is a big, wide-open area. Hopefully, there's something cool in there. I'm assuming there won't be, because everything is a placeholder, you know? None of this uh, this info is in-game yet. Do I have food on me? I'm going to have to eat one of these blocks. I'm going to end up uh, having to go back because of water. Just being in need of water. Well, I'm kind of stoked that I'm getting to the point where there's placeholder stuff. So that means I'm actually progressing through. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. Man, wow, this is just a big, massive, wide open area. There's another PDA. This one's going to be another placeholder, I bet. Yep. What do we have there? I can't grab it. Can't scan it. Oh, that kind of looks like uh, one of those containment cell rooms. Looks like this place got tore up. Holy crap, man. This place definitely got tore up. And there's yet another door. I mean, do I want to cut through this one too? I guess might as well, huh? Another little tiny area. See, this is where I get myself all mixed up in these shipwrecks and end up dying. Yeah, see, there's nowhere to go in here. So that was... This little passage is a waste. It looks like I'm starting to run low on the oxygen, too. And there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to find my way out. 30 seconds. Death is imminent. Or no, there we go. Oh man, am I gonna make it? Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Alright, I was a little sketched out there for a minute, but I'm doing good. Get another breath of fresh air here. Now let's take one more quick look. Now I didn't go up. It doesn't look like there's really anywhere to go. Doesn't want me going through there, does it? Oh, I guess so. Another power cell. We'll take it. We'll take it. Doesn't really look like much here, though. Like I said, this is uh, pretty obviously just a placeholder for something else down the road. So let's just go ahead and bail. We'll hop on out of here and... Head on back, and that actually will get it for this episode. Let me just take one more peek in here. Man, I wish that was one of those containment cell places. There's another door. Holy crap, man. My torch is going to run out. So I guess it's not over for this episode yet. Let's check what's through this door. I'm sure there's not going to be anything. Uh, like I said, this this is all placeholder stuff, it appears. Oh no, I'm out of power. I got more batteries, it's all good. Deep, dark, and scurry. And that looks like nothing as well. Some more crates laying around, but just nothing, uh, nothing exceptional. Cut open. All right. So anyway, that is going to get it for this episode. Thank you all so so much for watching. Uh, make sure to click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I think we might be getting close. Might be getting close to the end here in Subnautica. This is the deep dive update, and I'm not really sure exactly what else. Or how much more there is to do. I'm, I know that there's more to do still. But, you know, obviously I'm running into th 
into placeholder shipwrecks here. But anyway, that will do it for now. Uh, there is the lovely, lovely Sharktopus out in force. And we are going to just get the heck out of here. So thank you all once again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.